Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's Section 5 matchup between the Hornet Red Raiders and the visiting Bath Lady Rams. I'm Bob Peicher, broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. And here we go. Hornell with early control, and then obviously control is very short in this game sometimes. You have to make most of your seconds. Cornell comes in at 4-0-3, oh, still undefeated, <laughs> but have three ties. Bath comes in at 5-2-1. Again, sorry about if we're jumping around on Facebook here with the live stream. I've been trying a couple different things and ordered some new uh, parts, so hopefully they won't be in until tomorrow, so we won't notice it until next week. Marlene Steinhauser for Bath. That's Krupp for Hornell. And number three, Sydney Burns. Going to come up a bounce to the near side. Sent up. Nice kick. It's number 16, Maya Rutzak. You see Jaden Scotty's number 12 for Hornell. Number two right there you see is Ashworth. Number eight is Marlene Steinhauser for Bath. There's Krupp for Hornell, trying to get control, but she does. Good job, Jalen. <coughs> Ball's gonna find its way out of bounds. Congdon. <laughs> Abby Austin's number one, looking for something, sends it in. It's gonna be headed out of there by the Bath defender. Oh, that's gonna be a knockdown at time, number 14, Matt Condon. Just to slow things down for Hornell. Number three, Mackenzie Gardner. Up front. On the far side, that's number 11, Alyssa Delaney. It's finally going to be kicked out of bounds. It's going to be a Hornell throw in Lauren Kelly. Gets it to Austin. Ashworth, number two, she has it. Sends it to the far side, Scotty. Scotty. Oh, she waited too long, Ashworth. It's gonna come here to the near side with Congdon. Centers it. Oh, and it actually looked like it hit off the Hornell player and it did. 
looked like Abby Austin shot the ball, and I'm not sure who it was at Harkenreiter in the way. Doesn't do any good when you block your own player's shot. <laughs> Unintentional, obviously. Krupp sends it to Scotty here on the near side. Looks like it's going to get intercepted that time by Taylor Stone for Bath. <laughs> sends it to Marlene Steinhauser. Up front here. Krupp has it for Hornell. She's going to send it out of bounds, and Hornell can reset. Connors and Ferris, your workers' cap attorneys with offices in Buffalo and Rochester. Proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders. Thank you, Connors and Ferris. Thanks, Maple City Dodge. Stop up and see the new 2018s at Maple City Dodge, corners of Airport and Seneca Roads. Gary Harwood, owner, operator where the Birch family owned it years ago. Birches still have a hand in it, but Bill Birch is retired. Knocked out of bounds here on the near side. That's Morgan Hess, senior captain. She's got two goals on the season for Bath. Got her listed as a defensive and midfielder, so probably playing that midfield position where she scored those. Not very many defenders get goals. That's Abby Austin, number one for Hornell. Hornell in the white, Bath in the blue. Oh! Time Souls thought she was going to come away with it. Krupp finally chases it down. Matt Congdon. Congdon tries to center. Legs get tied up, no call. Scotty here on the defense. It's number 17, Morgan Hess, the senior. Knocks it out of bounds and allows Bath defense to reset. Ball's going to make it to the near side here. And there's a goal. Harkenreiter. Apologize, I was a little late getting to it. My antenna fell here on my camera. So Harkenreiter scores. First goal for Hornell. North Nago Realtors and Realty USA is now Howard Hanna. Call Rhonda Wilsey, your local realtor, 382-4539, Rhonda Wilsey. John N. Dagan, your attorney here in Hornell. John Dagan, with offices in the corner of Seneca, I'm sorry, Genesee and Church Street next to the St. Anne's Academy. So thank you very much for sponsoring.
up one nothing on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Again, apologize if you're watching on Facebook. We're gonna get some jumpiness here. And hopefully by Monday everything will be figured out. <laughs> Keep saying that, but pretty soon the season's gonna be over. <laughs> Actually got 16 more events to do in the month of October here live, so hopefully the school, I just talked to the, some people on the school board and they said they would make sure everything gets handled. Back and forth. Some subs coming in for Hornell. Number 16, that's Desiree McGregor. I can't tell who the other one is. It's because she's got long hair. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in and tell who she is. Is it Anna Flights? Yes, it is. Sorry, Anna, but your hair was blocking your... Lauren Kelly, number 20. There's Flights, he sends it up. Oh, it's gonna get, well, I guess not. There's Abby Austin. Watch the speed of Abby. Sends it up far to the near side, but looks like Ruzak is gonna get to it first. And she does. Stop that time. Goalkeeper is Danielle Ward, 11th grader. She's got 47 saves on the year. It's gonna find its way out of bounds. Thank Main Street Redemption. Get your cans and bottles into Main Street Redemption. 286 Main Street in Hornell, where the old Radio Shack used to be. Open seven days a week till 6 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays till 3. Taking advantage of everyone drinking on the Fridays and Saturdays so they can take their cans back. <laughs> Flight centers it.
it's going to find its way out. Abby Austin's arguing for a corner kick, and they're going to get it. Art to the corner kick. Cornell misses Aaron Briggs, who was so good at this last year. Centered. Lights hits the deck. Morgan Hess. Ashworth to do the kick. Kind of skittles through there. Centered. Over to the corner that time. Cleared out by Bath. Too fast. I don't think Anna was even ready for that. Again, thanks for joining us on Facebook Live. I apologize for any interruptions and stuttering of the video. I know you can still hear my voice sound or cl um, clear and loud, but <laughs> I'm sure you want to see the visuals as clearer too. But. Ashworth stops. Oh, see, instead of trying to go full board there, I think she tried to switch legs. You know, because she might be dominant with her left. Here's Abby. Centers it. Boom! Is that Ashworth? It was. So good job, Julia. Ashworth, great little set that time by Austin. I'm not sure if Austin's going to get the credit, but we'll find out here in a second. Poulos and Roselle, the office is in the profession, Crossroads Professional Building. Thank you, Tim Roselle and Bill Poulos. Poulos and Roselle, call 7324-7333. Lion Cow Practic at 20 Park Drive in Hornell. Get well and stay well with a trip to Wyand Kyle Practic. Steinhauser, the 11th grade forward.
ball's gonna make its way out of the back. Join Connors and Ferris in supporting the Kelly Tough Every Score, benefiting Hunter's Hope. Every time the Bills score, children win. For more information, visit connorsandferris.com. If you get hurt at work, you want to be able to turn to a professional you can trust, someone on your side. Call 262-COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, committed to serving you. Cornell Erie Federal Credit Union on Erie Avenue next to the Chinese Buffet. <laughs> That's all I know where it is, of course. Of course, I also took out my first loan there when I was a kid. Stop in the Hornell Area Federal Credit Union. Of course, Marino's 110 Loader Street. Hornell's Fine Dining. Of course, you can also get wings and chicken sandwiches and open till 10 p.m. every night but Sunday. Or the restaurant part of it's open, but you can stop in for a cool, cold one, too, as well, till 1 a.m. Subs coming in for Hornell. Ashworth checking back in. So is number 11, Alyssa Delaney. And number 12, Jaden Scotty. center it there and it's going to be kicked out of there that time it's number five Sydney Burns ball kind of ran the uh, Zach, number 16, going to do it. Sends it in, it's going to go out of bounds. Cornell's goalkeepers, number 19, Rebecca Clifford. Still pitching a shutout on the season, or not a shutout, but uh, the Cornell has, with her, Goalkeeping has been able to be undefeated, remain undefeated. Of course, the defense has a big part of that as well. Centered, header, oh, and he goes in! Was that, who was that? Was that? Couldn't see. Oh, number 17, no, no, that, wait a minute, is that right? Yeah, ha Kennedy, yeah, I'm sorry. Kennedy Horabai, I think, H-O-R-A-B-I. Horabai, hope I'm saying that right. Way to go, Kennedy. So Hornell up three nothing here. Nothing Hornell on the John and Dagan scoreboard.
centered. Kennedy was there again looking for a second, but just couldn't get in touch with it as Ashworth was over there too. Colucci, number six, oh, can't forward it. Ashworth sends it to the near side and nobody home looking for Austin here at the bottom part. Our customers expect the highest level of sales and service here at Maple City Dodge. I buy my cars at Maple City Dodge because they have the best service. I tell them what I want, they get me what I want, and I'm happy. I came to Maple City Dodge because they had the charger that I wanted. I'll come back to Maple City Dodge because of their sales and service. Come on down to Maple City Dodge where we make buying a car easy and fun. Nothing on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Hornell up. Bob Peicher broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. And remember, if you're watching this live on Facebook, you can also watch replays on Peich TV Spectrum Cable Channel 99, where Spectrum was Time Warner. And then upon the season's completion, these games will be put on my YouTube channel as well, Peich TV YouTube, centered. It's gonna make its way out of bounds. 21 for Bath, checking, we don't have a 21 listed. Number eight for Hornell is Carmen Nasca, and number 20 is Lauren Kelly. Steinhauser tries to get it past Gardner, or uh, not Gardner, by Clifford, and no goal there. Three nothing Hornell. It remains beautiful night in Hornell. If you're watching from afar, which I see some of you had posted, that we are beautiful day today. It was 81 degrees, supposed to be close to 90 on Saturday and Sunday. We had that two weeks where it was 65, no higher than 65. It got miserable for a while there. Actually had to turn the heat on September 1st, which I've never done in my life, but since I'm on a budget, I said, what the heck? <laughs> and since then, it hasn't been on. It's that two-week period. It's been warm, warm, warm here. Southern tier of New York. Nasca. Nasca and Morgan Burns. There. That's Steinhauser. Gets it up to Wright. That's Abigail Wright. Tries to get it back to Steinhauser, but stolen away by Lauren Kelly for Hornell. Sends it to the near side to Ashworth, but she's going to be challenged in there. That's number five, Sydney Burns, I believe. Their numbers are kind of screwed up here, what they have listed on their Section 5 website. But I'll get it corrected because I think they handed the new fresh ones over here at the...
Ashworth sends it up. Oh, just out of the reach that time. It was number 10, Harkenreiter. sure what's going on there. Offsides or push maybe? Push wouldn't be offsides there. through and it's going to make it out of bounds. Hornell's well, getting all the players in here, substituting another big set of Hornell players getting ready to check in. What's going on here? Yep, corner kick by Bath. back there, I couldn't tell for a Hornell's defense. Up oh, quickly, centered. Oh, nice defense that time, number 17, Morgan Hess, the senior captain. I see, is that number 16 going in? Yeah, oh, yes it is, her hair is moving enough that I can see it. <laughs> uh, 16 is Desiree McGregor, 11th grade defenseman. Anna Flights also checks in for Hornell. They should have to wear those hair pieces that they wear in the dance studios all the time. The fake hair it looks like a bunch of curlers. Uh, that'd be funny. Good job, Anna, mixing it up. Fighting for the ball. Flights in Stone. Who wins? Stone. <laughs> Is that Stone, Paper, Scissors? The time Flights to use Scissors and Stone won. Some fighting going on. It's Krupp and Burns, I believe. Nope, that's number eight. Steinhauser. Krupp. Try to get it to Colucci. Six fifty nine and ticking here. Flights and Steinhauser. Again, Steinhauser wins. <laughs> it's gonna be fun watching Flightsy run track again this year. Of course, went to states. Hornell last year. She does so many things. I remember watching, and we're going to try bringing some live stuff this year for you for track as well. Watching her uh, 
you know, run a race and then come over and have to do the high jump. And then I think she was doing the, um, what other, I think she was doing three different events. And I was tired just, to, just watching her run from one event to the other, let alone run the events. Actually, you might be able to go on YouTube and my YouTube channel there, Pice TV, and look up. There's some track footage on there, and she's part of it from last year. And if you look at the videos on this Pice Sports on, you, on Facebook, there's their track competition from the States a few months, or six months ago, or whatever it was now, that you can check out. Lights. Ooh, I thought she kept it alive, but. Three nothing on the John N. Dagan scoreboard. Hornell on top. Tomorrow we're gonna try bringing you the boys game from the Cohocton Sports Complex. And I am tell you right now, I'm not sure what kind of cell phone service they have there. Someone said it's like a black hole there, but it is the town of Cohocton. You'd think they'd have some kind of service, so we're gonna try it. So check in tomorrow to see when the scheduled time is. I don't have that with me. Well, I may have that with me, but I don't have to tell it to you after halftime. There's a chance, Clifford. Oh, and it's gonna be wide. That was Steinhauser with the kick. I was, I was going Clifford there to hopefully get in position. But that's so tough, one and one, and just wide. <sighs> I'd like to have that one back. I'm surprised she didn't try dribbled in a few more dribbles. You know, the less, the least, well, you know, it's second guessing is easy when it's <laughs> after the fact, but. I would have liked to see her take it in a few more dribbles anyways. Three thirty-two and counting here in the first half. Harkin Ryder to the near side here, flights. Bam! Oh, and it goes in! Flightsy! What a kick! <laughs> Anna Flights, beautiful kick. Beautiful Anna. Oh boy, that's a thing of beauty for Flightsy. Hornell up 4 nothing. Connors and Ferris. Your workers' comp attorneys with offices in Buffalo and Rochester. Workers' comp, I just said that. Thank you very much, Connors and Ferris. Stop up and see the 2018s at Maple City Dodge. Thanks for the crew up at Maple City Dodge for sponsoring Pice Sports, bringing you women's soccer tonight. Hornell up 4 nothing. Colucci on the far side. It's going to be stolen away by Krupp. It's Ashworth. Sends it up. Centers it. That's number 15. McGregor to the near side here. Oh, there's another one. Flights with the assist in the center there. The number 10. Harkenrider. Harkin, Harkin, Harky Ryder. Beautiful job, Leah Harkenrider. Knew her father very well, God rest in peace. 
Harkey. I know he's with us here today and watching his daughter score a goal. And in fact, it's her second goal this year. Oh, and that's Anna's second assist of the year. So horn up now, five nothing. Lights here on the near side again. Colucci. Still, I'm not sure what, what they call there. They call off sides, must be. Wasn't on Colucci. going to skip down here. It's going to be a blue throw. North Nagle Realtors is now Howard Hanna. Call Rhonda Wilson at 382-4539. Howard Hanna. Centered. Oh, and right there, just in case it ricocheted off, was Harkenreiter again. Just over a half a minute here left in the first half. It's a lot of halves. Up front, Austin, and it's just going to send it in there and... Clock tick right down. It's going to go out of bounds. No sense in even trying to throw it. That's going to take us to the half. Hornell up. Five to nothing. Just been a great first half for the Red Raiders. Not so good for obviously Bath, who was. Struggling offensively, John N. Dagan, your work, your uh, attorney here in Hornell. General general in trial practice, call 324-6690. Thanks, John, for all you do for Hornell Red Raiders and Peich TV and Peich Sports. Get your cans and bottles to Main Street Redemption in Hornell. Call 324-3601. Open seven days a week till 6, Saturday and Sundays till 3. Pulos and Roselle, attorneys at law, offices in the Crossroad Professional Building across in Burger King in Hornell. Thanks, Tim Roselle and Bill Poulos, Poulos and Roselle. Stop in and see Dr. John Wine and Dr. Joe McKay at Wine Chiropractic Associates. Or, um, get well and stay well with a visit to Wyand Chiropractic. Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union. Protection for you. I had my first car loan there. I have said that many times. A lot of people did. Right around the corner from then is 110 Loader Street. It's Marino's Fine Dining at its best. Marino's. Stop in and get burgers, anything you want. They do an artichoke French for um, an appetizer. It's absolutely delicious. So thanks, Marino's, for your support. We'll be back with second half after this. Read our reviews on our Facebook site and see why you should buy your next vehicle from us here at Maple City Dodge. I'm so excited. I got my first new car here at Maple City Dodge. The sales staff here at Maple City Dodge is amazing. I'll definitely be back. I test drove a lot of trucks, Chevy and Ford, came to Maple City Dodge, was much happier with the Dodge. They gave me the best deal. It's worth the drive to Maple City Dodge because we have the best sales and service and we'll prove it.
sent out of the end zone. Lauren Kettler, is it Kelly? No, it's Krupp with the leg. Apologize for having some streaming problems here. Got all kind of problems up here. My camera stopped recording at one point. <laughs> I just noticed it was off. The holders that hold on the iPad are failing. <laughs> oh, there's no one behind in Hornell. Bath was quick to get back there, but Hornell, of course, they're already up. 7 0 Hornell. Kelly. Sneaks through. And there's another shot and goal. Wow. Oh. That was, it looked like Ashworth. So many ricochet. I'm walking in a little monitor here, so it was hard to see exactly, but it was Ashworth. Hornell up now, 8 nothing. Kate Colucci checking in. And he really, they've been, Hornell's been subbing very good, coached by Mike Wilkinson, or Wilkinson, sorry. Um, so it just everyone's a strong player. Now Abby's coming off. But every person they put in has been playing all year long. So it's not like you got some players that never get in. And they're, you know, it's just, Hornell is just well-rounded and going to remain undefeated here. Improved to two, five, zero, oh, and three. Like I said, a shame. Um, in eight games, only given up three goals and, and had a zero-zero tie. And and those games could have went Hornell's way. You know, you take one or two of those games, and Hornell suddenly is like you know eight, zero, oh, and one. You know, and so it's. But that's why they have ties. Can eat nothing on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Still 22 and a half minutes left here <laughs> from Hornell. Yeah, 
flights. Not sure what the call was there. Oh, they're just changing goalkeepers. Good job, Clifford. Rebecca Clifford, that is. Ball's going out. Got to see who they put in it. It might be Gabby LaPierre. Nope. Can't tell who that is. I don't see the number. I do want to see who that is. I'm sorry if I'm, there's nothing going on right this side. I don't see it. It says number 14, so that's Mac Kindon. Okay. Yeah, that is Mac. Far side. It's Mackenzie Gardner. Cam or Carmen Naska checking in. Shot that time by McGregor. <laughs> Marino's on Loader Street in Hornell. Open Monday through Saturday with dinners served till 10 p.m. Bar is open till 1. 110 Loader Street, Marino's. More players coming in with under 20 minutes now, or almost under 19 minutes left in the game. Stolen away. Number 13, Jamie Sebastian. Off the crossbar at time for Alyssa Delaney. Shot that time, almost missed, but good stop. Colucci mixing it up with Steinhauser. Again, if you're just joining us, <laughs> you probably won't stay on for long once you see the score. It's 8-0 Hornell. 
The Lady Raiders versus the Lady Rams of Bath. Thrown into Nazca. Blue, 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 the guy keeps calling the official. Keeps going out on Hornell. Good center that time, tried, but I think she was kind of falling backwards. The ball was going sideways, so couldn't get a good connection on that. Pace is just stop it and kick it. Or don't wait. There you go, center. Oh. Rebecca Clifford's coming in on offense. Oh, no, she's not. <laughs> They're making her come back. <laughs> now she's going to stand there again and wait for a, a proper substitution. You can, you can only substitute when it's your ball on the throw in or kick. That time it wasn't. Ashworth. Rockets in there wide. Yes, hello. Hi. I received a letter today from Workman's Comp. You did your homework. You knew who to call, and you could tell right away you were in good hands. They told you exactly how things would go, and they were right every step of the way. No surprises is a good thing. You got the results you deserve, and you're thankful for the professionals fighting on your side. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Now Clifford comes in. Or not, or Eileen Feynman is Bath's coach. Just got to keep the girls in high spirits, you know, even though they're down 8 nothing. Remember, this is your high school experience. Keeping fresh legs, number two for Bath is coming in. Morgan Burns, 11th grade. She's got two goals and an assist this year for the Lady Rams.
throw in on the far side. Naska. And doesn't quite make it. It's going to make its way out. Way out. <laughs> Again, welcome those that are watching the last 11 minutes here on Facebook. Hope the stream is doing all right. We've had to reduce the resolution a little bit in order to get the signal across, but work in progress. Remember, tomorrow I'll be in the Cohocton Sports Complex for the boys game at 7 p.m. Hopefully, everyone says it's like a black hole over there when it comes to cell service, so we'll see how that works. So I'm hoping we'll do it, but if you see it doesn't work, then you'll always be able to watch the game the next day on YouTube, Paish TV YouTube channel. Kate Colucci. To the side, got Anna Flights checking back in, and as well as Desiree McGregor. Lauren Kelly getting ready to throw the ball in for Hornell. Tries to get it to McGregor. Going to be headed in there by Abigail Wright, number 14 for Bath. And Lauren's going to do it all over again. Eight nothing Hornell on the John N. Dagan scoreboard. And it goes out again, and there goes Lauren again to get the ball. <laughs> She's going to do it one more time. She goes, let me get into the field of play here, please, so I can kick the ball. There it goes again, and there goes Lauren again. <laughs> Just throw it down. Throw it into the middle of the field, Lauren, because the chances of it getting knocked out again are rare. There's a boot. I'm stepping all over my cords here. Not cleared yet. Kind of, I don't think he has any saves or anything. So we've got to count that as a save. So at least she gets one this year. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't even close. Uh, under eight minutes now.
subbing in number nine for Bath, that's Taylor Stone, 10th grader. Cleared out of there by Krupp. Far side, that's number 19, Rebecca Clifford. Remember, she was in goal all game until now. She gets out there and she's probably winded. <laughs> Not used to running up and down the field. Flights on the far side. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys with offices in Buffalo and Rochester. Thank you, Connors and Ferris. Stop up and see the new 2018s at Maple City Dodge. It's going to be a corner kick here. North Nangle Realtors is now Howard Hanna. Call Rhonda Wilsey. Three, two, forty-five, thirty-nine. Here we go. Bouncing around there, not cleared yet. Oh, and finally, knocked out of the bunch by Krupp. Flights on the near side. Well, that's not flights, I'm sorry. That's McGregor. have blonde and long hair. <laughs> Not all of them, but out of, knocked out of bounds that time off the arm of Kelly. That's Taylor Stone for Bath. Under five minutes left here from Maple City Park. Again, you're watching it live. Actually, it's not extreme. What, what I'm saying right now actually happened 10 seconds ago. <laughs> That's how this stream works. It's 10 seconds behind. So if you're on your front porch on State Street and hear a loud cheer, but then don't hear it for 10 seconds on Facebook, you'll know why. Gardner. Knocked out of bounds by Lillian Dixon. Lauren Kelly again. All smiles on the benches for Hornell. Knocked out of bounds. And you want to see what it takes to... Well, they almost, got, almost all got the exact same bags, which is pretty cool. Clifford, centered, and it's going to go against the net. I remember the kicks. It would get lost, you know, it would be kicked out of bounds, get lost in the pine trees years ago. Oh, it wasn't that pine tree. The pine tree used to be right there where the net is, but they tore it down right around there. And I remember I have a video of a kid looking. He must have been looking for the thing that was stuck on, like, one of the third or fourth it was probably 10 feet off the ground looking for a ball and he couldn't find it and everyone's yelling to him, it's up there, you could see it from here, but he couldn't see it. Centered. Clear it out. Go, 
Yeah, there's a little push. <laughs> 220 left here. Can we have the game tomorrow, like I said, in Waco? And I will not be doing the game in Bath for Hornell football Saturday afternoon. And I will not be videotaping it. I will not be here. I have to go out of town on a commitment that I was committed to oh, about nine months ago before the football schedule came out. And who knew the only Saturday they had, in, the first Saturday game they've had in two years, they happen to play it on a day that I will not be available. So. I only have one camera, and i got to take my camera with me. So both teams are undefeated. Hornell in Class B, Bath in Class C, ranked in the States. And uh, from Bath. So I wish I was going to be there, but fortunately I cannot be there. One minute. And it can't go fast enough. <laughs> Up eight nothing here. Looks like no injuries, which is good. You always want to get out of a game injury fee. Yesterday's game at Hornell boys or you know, get knocked down, knocked around. It's a midsection shots. Unfortunately, a couple guys had to come out. Seven, six seconds left. And that's going to do it. Hornell's going to move to 5 0 oh, and 3. Bath's going to fall to. Two, two, they don't, I, I think I have their thing wrong, so I don't even know what they're going to fall to. <laughs> so thanks for being with us.